Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Bearded Dev. I produce videos uh, and tutorials on business intelligence and data analysis. If you are new to the channel, do hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit that notification button to be made aware of when new videos are uploaded. So this is going to be slightly different from the videos already on my channel. Mainly, it's just going to be me talking. A while back I posted a video as I took the 70-767 certification uh, which is implementing a data warehouse in Microsoft SQL Server 2016 and one of the common questions I got from that video is how long does it take to pass Microsoft certifications. Now in this video I'm going to be focusing more on the data side of certifications, that's my experience, so any areas of T-SQL, SSIS, SSAS, potentially even Power BI uh, and those sort of areas. And don't forget if you do like the video hit that thumbs up button. So let's move on now to how long does it take to pass Microsoft certifications. So there are a few important points before I reveal the actual figure. So the number I'm going to tell you is actually based on my own research. You may be able to pass in a much shorter time frame. What I wanted to do is just enable people to actually put a number on how long I would expect it to take someone to pass these certifications. Also, when I take a certification, I like to make sure that I know the topics inside out. So when I'm particularly studying for a certification, I like to take the topics and make sure if I was to ever use those technologies within a work environment, I would be able to get going straight away. I wouldn't have to use the assistance of things like Stack Overflow uh, to check out certain things. I'd like to make sure when I go into an environment and talk about technologies with certain people and what we're going to use, that I can get up to speed with that straight away and I can get on and carry out that work and deliver it. Uh, this figure is also based on starting from scratch, so it might be alarming to people how long it can actually take, but if you already have a good knowledge of what the certification covers and the exam to topics, then you'll be able to pass in a much shorter time frame. So when you look at the topics for the particular certification, if there are some that you can already tick off, then this number is going to be significantly reduced for you. Um, and then I want to talk about what the amount of time covers. So what I like to do is go through online courses, books. I then like to practice the skills covered because it's very easy to follow the tutorials now. Um, they are, provide step-by-step -step instructions and everything will work perfectly, which is not always how it works in the real world. Sometimes you can follow these courses and you find it very easy and then you get into the real world and you come across scenarios you haven't come across different error messages or things aren't quite working the way they should um, and you're unprepared for that just based on following those step by step instructions so it's important when you go through the courses and you go through the books how you can apply those skills to different environments so I also like to when I apply the tutorials to certain projects that I'm working on what I would do maybe slightly differently what relates well um, and then I also test what happens if done differently so if the step by step instructions tell me to do something what if I do it slightly differently? What error messages can happen? What do those error messages actually mean? Uh, and then there's some, times, some time spent on revising important facts and processes. So often there will be procedures or important facts such as the typical amount of memory, the typical amount of CPU, or the step-by-step -step processes that you'd typically follow uh, and then you have to commit those to memory for to take the exam. And then also I'll spend a lot of time on practice exams. That will take me initially going through uh, revising all my notes, taking a practice exam, getting feedback from that exam, learning from that, practicing more on the skills that I'm weak on, and then getting ready to take the certification itself. 
There's also another interesting point. When I start preparing for a certification, I will typically take um, a free course online or work through a book that's been recommended. And you find you can get a very good foundation very quickly. So when I reveal this number in a bit, you will find that you have got up to speed with the foundations very quickly. But for the advanced topics, they take a lot longer to learn. So as an example, you will probably cover 50% of the exam topics in a very quick period. It's very quick to pick up the foundational skills. But those advanced skills, those advanced topics will take a lot longer. So you'll find you, you accelerate very quickly your knowledge and then it kind of teeters off. You start to pick up the advanced topics slower and slower and again that's just my opinion let me know your thoughts in the comments below so we'll go on to reveal the magic number now so I have put on this a number of 300 hours now that might seem high uh, and again let me know your thoughts in the comments below I do think a lot of people will comment to say that yes you've passed this a lot quicker but yes, again, if you are working with these technologies on a daily basis, but you just need to study the advanced topics, yes, you will, you, will, you will be able to pass the certification a lot faster than this time period. Now, looking on the Microsoft website, they sometimes recommend one to two years practical experience, as well as studying the topics. So you can see, compared to that, my number is relatively low, but again, I also stressed in the video that I also like to learn these topics inside out. I like to go into that exam room knowing that I'm going to pass the exam and I like to see how much of a how high my score can actually get rather than just being around the pass mark. I want to know that once I achieve that certification I've got that knowledge and I can go into a work environment and be able to apply that knowledge. So I hope you have enjoyed that video. Apologies, it is just me talking rather than another tutorial. Please, I ask, do not put any links to exam dumps in the comments as they will be removed. I do not believe in exam dumps. I do not use them. And I will probably produce another video explaining why you shouldn't use exam dumps either. Again, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification button to be made aware of when new videos are uploaded. And let me know your thoughts in the comments. How long did it take you to pass a certification? Did you have any prior? knowledge and you may find that some people will pass they they're very good at remembering processes they're very good at remembering facts and they can pass these exams very very easily thanks a lot for watching